20 spooky boss and level ideas in Mario Maker 2. The best levels in Mario Maker 2 can be scary, shocking, or even mysterious. Today, we'll take a look at 20 ghostly ideas that you can use when designing your courses. Mario, Luigi, Blue Toad, and Toadette hear a roar in the distance getting louder while the world around them fades to black. After waiting in the deafening silence, light gradually returns and Luigi finds himself alone. Feeling slightly weak and empty, he wonders what could have happened to his friends. Luigi follows the sound of the roar and passes through a nasty swamp. In this region, any living creature that touches the poison goop instantly turns into a member of the undead. Luigi climbs vines that appear out of the sledge and bounces on giant dry bones to move through the treacherous route. Luigi falls into a trap. This area uses custom scroll to hide the floor underneath him and vines growing out of note blocks that move on tracks. He survives in the stationary zone by jumping from vine to vine. He dodges deadly boos and bounces off of skeletal Koopas to buy enough time for a mysterious door to appear and to escape. Luigi feels instant regret when he realizes the door warped him into his most dreaded venue, a haunted mansion. Finding his friends is still his top priority, so he presses onward. Luigi enters a hallway and is confronted by the Ghost Gang. These boo stacks join together to create a mega stack and chase Luigi. The ghosts sit on a muncher that moves forward with a conveyor belt that's out of view. Luigi moves swiftly while jumping over embarrassed marshmallows and clears himself a way forward. With one final on-off switch, he reveals a way out and vanishes through a pipe. Now that the ghost gang knows he is here, Luigi doesn't have much time until every being in the mansion is on high alert. He hears the walls creaking as if the mansion itself was preparing to get rid of him. Floating blocks suddenly surround and constrict Luigi. By using brick blocks with wings, he must follow their pathway and avoid being crushed. With careful timing, he makes it through the mansion's first test and breaks free from the block prison. The mansion challenges Luigi again, but this time his speed is the only thing that can save him. Luigi grabs a power balloon and starts to fly. If he's not fast enough, all of the monsters around this spooky track will close in to destroy him. Every time Luigi grabs a star, he moves with faster speed and increases his distance away from the ghoulish fiends. Knocking into bumpers or walls will slow him down, so he needs to fly cautiously. With some great piloting skills, Luigi completes this challenge and leaves the baddies in the dust behind him. Luigi has appeased the demon building for now, and he continues searching for anyone or anything that can explain what's going on. While investigating, he encounters the Boo Tops Guild. These stacks of boos sit on top of a spike top that acts as the commander of each stack. The boo tops can scale any surface with ease and damage Luigi if he gets too close. With conveyor belts overlapped with semi-solids, the boo tops move in unexpected ways to throw off Luigi's timing. As Luigi advances, the boo tops move faster and faster until he finally makes it through the zone. Luigi hunts down the leader of the boo tops guild and demands answers. He falls right in between two extremely tall Bootop stacks that act as wailing walls to keep Luigi away from their boss. The guild leader launches magical geometry to attack Luigi while he patiently dodges and waits for a chance to escape. After wearing down the leader, a P-door appears and Luigi departs from the room unharmed. The Bootop's guild leader respects Luigi for enduring through these trials and rewards him with some valuable information. Apparently, creatures all over the Mushroom Kingdom are being kidnapped to have their souls extracted to create a super squad of spirit soldiers. Luigi leaves with haste to find and save his friends before the guild leader can say anything more. Luigi, feeling even woozier than before, moves into the next wing of the unpredictable mansion. In this area, normal rules of gravity don't seem to apply. As he drops items below with an on-off switch, they suddenly appear above him. He has to manipulate the warped mansion to collect items to move forward. Even enemies are affected by this strange phenomenon. He guides a Monty Mole to drop above him and gather a key for Luigi to leave this strange place. Luigi can't seem to shake off the grogginess since his quest began. He enters a room and faces off against Smashosaurus Thwomp. 
This enemy stack of a fire clown car, a thwomp, a large boo, and a spiny follow Luigi's every move. When he gets close, Smashosaurus crushes downward to bounce Luigi into painful munchers. Luigi tricks Smashosaurus to activate PAL blocks underneath him until the beast eventually removes the muncher nuisances and Luigi slips out of this arena. Luigi moves into the next room hoping to see his brother smiling back at him. He's greeted instead by the Phantom and the Ghost Serpent. In this battle, Luigi dodges an invulnerable Boo Snake while locking eyes with the Phantom to stop him from approaching. Bullet Blasters launch deadly bullet bills to add to the chaos as Luigi skillfully avoids getting hit. After figuring out his enemy's pattern, a star appears to give Luigi Disco Deadliness. Luigi defeats all of his foes to get the key and escape. Luigi investigates the Phantom's area and learns that he was simply an underling to an even deadlier boss named the Absorber. Following a crude map that he discovered, Luigi approaches this Absorber's lair, hopeful to free his friends. Luigi pleads his case, but this angry boss denies his request for help and absorbs a Rocky Wrench's power by crushing it. Luigi jumps and dodges as Wrench Enhanced Absorber moves around the arena throwing projectiles. Luigi grabs the trampoline in the middle of the room and carefully sets it up on each side. He chooses his moment wisely and jumps up to hit a question block. This block then triggers a POW that removes one obstacle in front of the door. One more swift motion grants Luigi another high jump to clear out the last muncher blocking the exit. Now that he's seen what the Absorber can do, Luigi takes a moment to plan his next strike. The rooms in the Haunted Mansion suddenly shift and Luigi finds himself lost in this strange place once again. In this zone, Luigi needs to navigate through giant boos. The best way to do it is actually by walking on top of them. Because they're overlapped with cloud blocks, Luigi can run on them without taking damage. He moves quietly through the dark and jumps on the ghosts cautiously. With enough patience, Luigi pilots a large winged boo and finds a way back to battle his rival. Luigi returns to the Absorber's lair just in time to see a Hammer Bro get devoured. He enters the arena and fights Absorber Bro. This time the door has three munchers blocking it and Luigi dodges hammers while taking caution of the donut blocks in between each platform. Because each space is only three blocks wide, Luigi has a difficult time balancing between evading and finding a solid place to stand. With a few quick moves, he destroys all of the munchers and escapes through the door. Luigi has an idea to take down the Absorber for good next time. To do it, he just needs to find an item that lets him do the smashing. As he enters the East Wing, the mansion tries to trick him in every single room. He needs to go against every instinct he has to make progress here. Luigi's given a choice between one seemingly safe route or an anxiety-inducing death trap path. He quickly learns that the safe route is always bait while the deadly looking one actually lets him advance. After many mind-melting choices, Luigi obtains a Goomba Shoe and brings it back to the Absorber's lair. Luigi leaves the Goomba Shoe nearby and plans for his final battle. The enemy consumes a Magikoopa this time. A giant muncher and mini muncher block the pipe to safety, while Magizorber launches PlayStation missiles at Luigi. Every time one of the projectiles hits the blocks underneath him, they disappear, giving Luigi less and less ground to stand on. With enough tactical jumps, Luigi moves through the pipe to launch the final step of his plan. Luigi hops into the Goomba Shoe and smashes down, destroying the Absorber for good. Suddenly, a small and timid Boo appears with a look of thanks. Luigi explains that he's trying to save his friends from the soul extraction as Shadow the Spirit grows worried. Shadow reluctantly tells Luigi that his friends aren't the ones getting their souls extracted. Luigi is. He is currently trapped inside the spirit realm and is running out of time before he can never return to his own body. Luigi, absolutely shocked, scrambles to find the way out. Luigi moves down a narrow hallway and feels an ominous presence lurking behind him. A soul sucker appears in the form of booze and note blocks on tracks and chases him. 
He quickly activates switches to open the pathway forward and uses bob bombs to blast open walls. The Soul Sucker retreats to bide its time while Luigi grows more feeble with each passing minute. After every encounter, Luigi can feel himself losing more strength. He's running out of time. He moves through a quiet part of the mansion hoping to find anything that can assist him, but all he comes across are broken items that don't work like they should. Some rooms play tricks on him and require him to fall into deadly pits to move to the other side. Confused Luigi continues moving through this house of horrors until Shadow the Spirit manipulates the house to allow Luigi to leave. Luigi has to find the mastermind behind all of this. What being would even want to steal his soul? He presses forwards for the answers he seeks. Luigi enters a terrifying room patrolled by giant wigglers with boo stacks on their heads. Luigi's goal is to move upward by finding a weak point in their security. He dodges these vicious foes long enough for Shadow the Spirit to bring him a superstar to grant Luigi invincibility. Luigi runs through all the enemies and defeats them. The mansion only has one area left to explore, the attic. As he moves through the darkness, a lava bubble explodes out of nowhere and Luigi sees a creepy eye watching his every move. He hits a switch, hoping to illuminate the room, when suddenly a horde of enemies appears to attack. Luigi narrowly avoids death and escapes the room. He moves through a blood-filled wiggler room to finally exit onto the roof and leave this nightmare behind. Luigi enters a tower on the roof to encounter a dark figure waiting for him. Ludwig's doppelganger named Ludwig von Doom is ready to finish extracting Luigi's soul and move on to his friends. Luigi drops into a dark arena and picks up a shelmet as ammunition. He avoids four Boo Buddy circles restricting him to the center of the arena. When he throws the shelmet, Ludwig von Doom drops into the battle, launching projectiles and spinning towards Luigi. After careful attacks and patience, Luigi defeats von Doom. Just when he attempts to leave, Luigi is forced into another room. A Boo with Muncher headgear tries to approach Luigi while his back is turned. The Boo drops the Muncher into a bob -omb to spring Ludwig Von Doom's trap. Von Doom drops from the sky and adds lava bubbles dropping into the center of the arena. Luigi dodges Boo Buddies, a Rogue Boo, and lava bubbles as he fights Von Doom. With skillful fighting, Luigi smashes this evil turtle he sees Ludwig von Doom phase out of the spirit world, and the last thing he hears is, you may have won the battle, but the war is far from over. To see more ghostly ideas, click on the video on the screen right now. I'm Aristotle, and thanks for watching.